Hello to all my high school football fans out there. Welcome to another segment of the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel show. My friends, let's get right into this. I want to give a special shout out, though, to a good friend of mine and subscriber, Bob Bates, who suggested this video to do. Now, Bob went to this game last night, and what I'm getting at is the Maslin Tigers, Friday night, hosted St. John's. College Academy from D.C. And the Maslin Tigers beat St. John's Cadet by the score of 28-7. to But nonetheless with the game, many, many fireworks happened in this game. And I don't mean 4th of July fireworks, my friends. Bob was at this game, and he said that this St. John's team Talent-wise, very good. Discipline-wise, sucked. This is a St. John's team that committed 16 penalties. Numerous penalties, unsportsmanlike. Well, 16 penalties, my friends, I don't care who you are. You're not going to win too many football games when you commit 16 penalties. Yes, this team had eight Power 5 recruit players on their team. Now this was a St. John's DC team that just last week beat Mission Viejo High School from California 39 to 17. This is a St. John's DC team that prior going into the Maslin Tiger game last night was averaging 35 points a game. And the Maslin Tigers' defense stymied St. John's D.C. for only giving up seven points a game against St. John's D.C. My friends, my hat's off to the Maslin Tigers and Coach Nate Moore. Now, St. John's D.C. led in this game 7 to nothing. Maslin came back with 28 unanswered points to win the game. Where the fireworks started was this game was called with six minutes to go in this game. Numerous fights broke out uh, between Maslin Tigers players and, and St. John's D.C. players. And what was so ironic and funny is when my good friend Bob told me that he went to this game along with his uncle. And as they were walking out, when they were already informed that they were going to stop play with six minutes to go in this game, and Maslin was going to get the victory, of course, being up 28-7. to As Bob and his uncle was leaving this game, they walked past the visitor's locker room, St. John's, D.C., only to see their own team fighting amongst themselves. Amazing, my friends. Now, this D.C. team, going into the Maslin game, only lost one game on the year. So, my friends, I'm telling you, this was no run-of-the-mill, out-of-state team that, you know, had no talent, whatever. I told you, eight Power 5 recruits on this team. Many of those players got gifted talent, but when it came to discipline, zero, nada, zilch. And now you can wonder why Maslin Tigers whooped them pretty good, 28-17. to 17. Again, called with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. You know, when you hear of, you know, teams getting into it and fighting on the field, you know, you, you don't like to see that, okay? Very unsportsmanlike. But when you hear that they're fighting after the game, amongst their own players. I'm sorry. I strictly blame the coach there, okay? The head coach, the assistant coach, doesn't matter. If you cannot keep your players disciplined, then there's an issue, okay? Bottom line. If you cannot keep your players disciplined and under control, there's an issue. Like I said, talent-wise, St. John's D.C., very talented football team. Had a very good quarterback. I believe his uh, name was French. 
could throw it, could run it very well. They had very good running backs. Like I said, they led Maslin 7 nothing on a defensive breakdown by the Tigers. Obviously, Coach Nate Moore, they got their act together and went on to score the next 28 points to defeat St. John's D.C. 28-7. to But my friends, you know, when you just hear uh, uh, of, of stuff like this, you know, you just shake your head. You really do. You, you shake your head. You know, are these players in high school watching the pros too often and too much? Okay, and watching how they want to brawl and get in fights and, and your prima donna football players in the NFL. And that's why I will not cover the NFL anymore on my channel. You know, it, it just, uh, again, you know, we're talking about a St. John's team that should have been representing their team from D.C. Going in to the state of Ohio and, yes, playing the number one ranked in Division II, Region 7, the Maslin Tigers. Now, were they probably hyped up and pumped up for this game? You betcha. Maslin's undefeated. You would have to be pumped up. But when you cannot control those emotions, 16 penalties, no discipline for me, my friends. No, zero discipline. I blame the coaches. Obviously, yes, I blame the players, but... You know, the coaches, they play a big role in this too. Many, many unsportsmanlike penalties. One to wonder why they lost 28-7. to This marks now the 10th straight win for the Tigers against an out-of-state opponent. So my hat's off to the Maslin Tigers chalking up another victory. Seven straight wins right now. They're 7-0. and Division 2, Region 7, holding down that number one spot. Uh, you know, uh, they were happy to have quarterback Owens coming back. He had to sit out uh, the game last week, but he did come back. Played very well. Let's not forget Dorian Pringle. Tolls. You know, this team is loaded on defense. Cody Fair, Moore. You know, what more can you say about this just very, very well-coached football team and many, many very talented athletes? Not Let's not forget the other quarterback, uh, Jalen Slaughter, phenomenal, phenomenal lefty quarterback. He can beat you throwing. He can beat you running. Doesn't matter. You know, you got the dual threat of Slaughter and Owens. My friends, uh, I'm just going to say this. Maslin is going to be a tough team to beat without a doubt with this lineup. My friends, if you are new to my channel, I welcome you. Please smash that subscribe button. Always free to do so. If you like this video, please click on the like button. And like always, please comment down below about this video. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Another special thank you to my good friend, and subscriber, Bob Bates. Thank you so much, Bob. Like always, peace out. God bless. This is all Buckeye Vinny has for today. I'm out of here.